Yo yo, what's good everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a sage who rises. Today I will be doing the sun moon rising of Leo. So let's get to it. So angels, what's the tea for Leo at this time? So Leo, somebody was working at recently hard, okay? They was working their ass so I and they thought it was a wonderful idea. But it's time for you to release your power. So that you can have this personal powerful energy shift because you're being guided or they were being guided but where would it lead them because somebody is about to be stifled stuck and bored right in the past just how they thought you was gonna see them you know how they're gonna be looking stupid stuck in the past yeah yeah we got the natural world needs you so you're being told to grind yourself at this time because somebody was out here learning something new. These two little witches. And they thought it was okay to glamour you and intrigue you in drama. And it's because they missed someone. So they was off this bitch doing voodoo. And it's because you was being true to yourself. <laughs> this is why the love is strange. Because they're doing voodoo. Now the shit is so crazy because. You got somebody doing voodoo on you. Two witches. And it's because they want you to see them as how you saw them when they were younger, I guess, with sweet memories or how they looked in the past. But you're being told to release your power so that you can have this powerful energy shift. Because somebody or something is about to be eclipsed out of your life as soon as you ground yourself. Mm-hmm. As soon as you ground yourself. <laughs> they were working their ass off. And they were being guided. They thought this was a good idea to have you staff or stuck and bored. Now you're being told to release your power because something is just a sweet memory. Well, these people thinking that they could do magic on you or do shit on you to have you stuck or trapped. You only need to grind yourself so that something could be eclipsed out of your life. Yeah, because somebody was out here coaching motherfuckers. And you was able to separate yourself from this group or community. Yeah, somebody took a risk trying to cause you a natural disaster. And it's because you could be a reader and they could be scared. So somebody is scared that you're a fortune teller. This is why they wanted to get you rejected. Why is coach here? It, yeah, they was out here coaching motherfuckers to try to get you, you know. They tried to separate you from an online community. Yeah. I'm saying that you could be a coach. You give good advice. You're very knowledgeable. You're, you're a sweetheart. You love people unconditionally. Yeah, this is why something comes to you with ease. This could be what you do for work. So whatever you do for work comes to you for ease or to ease because you're a pure of heart. You love unconditionally and you give good advice. Yeah, this is why luck is on your fucking side. Why is introvert here? Yeah, somebody was secretly trying to lure you, trap you, make you their victim. These group of friends who was networking, pretending. Yeah, these people were bullying you and weren't trying to listen. Being stubborn, arrogant, trying to rob you of your happiness, joy, or just physical. Why is natural disaster here? Yeah, somebody took a risk. And now they're binded to that shit. This could be an older couple that's now hesitant because they lost. I'm saying that they should have held on to some money. Because them causing this, them orchestrating this, is the reason why they're sick. And it's going through endings. Why is fortune telling here? Like I said, you could be a fortune teller. Exactly. This is why somebody wanted you to get rejected. This is why they was praying on you, trying to use religion. Now they want to compromise. But this was the motherfucker who arranged the shit. Now they need your help and aid. Like I said, they was responsible. And they was satisfied when they collaborate, collaborated with these group of people to cause you conflict. Traveling towards you, acting like they supporting you. I'm saying that you persevered. Some type of danger that somebody was tempted to do to you. They thought this was a good idea. And that shit got stopped. Now they stressed the fuck out because they thought luck was on their side. But now they're scared. Because they're being hunted by some supernatural fucking disturbance. And it's because it was in their pride and ego. At a home or about a home. Why is nightmare here? Yeah, somebody is suffering in darkness. And they feel persecuted. Yeah. Because they thought they could dominate you. They thought they could control you. Yeah, this third world enemy that was to your blessing. So you had a third world enemy. When it came to your blessings, they were trying to be a third wheel to your blessings. So them and a person or them and a friend or them and a sister, them and a brother was praying over your stability, over your home. And you got evidence. 
Now somebody is feeling powerless. This could be a couple that's over. That's, that's like, I don't want to say over overwhelmed. It's like they feel obligated, but at the same time, overwhelmed, overloaded. By your good news, because something was just an illusion that they was going to gain something. This could have been somebody in your family or a family that created a goal. Or this was the purpose of this family. This per the, the purpose was they were supposed to gain something off of an illusion. Now they're mad because that's why they created all that shit. This is what they were desiring you to believe in illusion. But you live and learn. Yeah, somebody wanted you to bow down to them. And it's because they was disappointed. They felt lonely. They felt dull. By your self-love energy. So somebody felt dull while you was in a self-love, compassionate, caring, independent energy. And they felt lonely. So y'all know independent and lonely is the, is the opposite. They was feeling lonely. You were feeling independent. Now they feel awkward. Because... They could be feeling like a castaway, a failure. Meanwhile, you're feeling okay, stable, harmony, acceptance. This was a group of women who indulged in the past with strategizing some mind games. And it's because you had inner peace on why they tried to curse your home and put unwanted attention on you. It's because you was victorious over someone's magic who you thought you could trust. This person knew you were gifted. Now they want to apologize because they're getting karma. For trying to rob you, treat you unfairly, exploit you. This person weird as hell. <laughs> weird as hell. How you trying to become a third world enemy to my blessings? That right there says enough. Like, what? Crazy. <laughs> yeah, you could be annoying someone because they caught a case. Or you're needing to ignore someone because they got a sexual disease. Yeah, somebody's threatened by you. This is why they out here fake flexing. So you need to stay unfazed. Because you dodged this bullet already from this karmic friend that was out here talking shit about you. So you got a karmic friend out here talking shit about you that you've already dodged a bullet from. Remain unfazed because this is fake flexing. This is somebody who's acting rich, flossing money, acting fancy, showing off. And it's because they threatened by you. They bothered by you. That's the fucking truth. Why is threatening here? Yeah, they intimidated. Bothered. And it's because you out here hustling, getting to the bag, and they have beef. That's Carlos. That's using scarcity tactics because they are broke ass. And they want you back. Why is fake flexing here? Yeah, they acting rich. But they got legal issues. And they are fucking impersonated. So remain unbothered. Cause this is a motherfucker who not even able to pay their bills. Like, yo, why is unfazed here? Yeah, you could be drinking your water, your tea. Yeah, you're unfazed by this person that's always farting. Cause they want you to give them money. And it could be acting like they into you, but they a happiness hater. That's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Why is dodging bullets? Yeah, you block some type of negativity. You escape some type of crazy people or you're protected from some haters that's hunted. Cause they are groupies that was out here cyber bullying you. They wasted their fucking time thinking they could start drama. Yeah, a stalker that's creeping and wanting to kiss your ass. Why is karmic friends? Yeah, you got karmic friends that's out here dirt digging on you, running away, looking you up because they got bad habits and you're uninterested. And it's because they are obsessive lovers. So you could have had friends that you don't fuck with like that no more because you see them as dangerously toxic, unhealthy, possessive, and just karmic. Played out. Yeah, bitches that's catching cases and moving in silence. This is why you're rejecting them. So you get, you're like, bitch, you're burning. You're not even telling nobody you're burning. Ew, I don't know. Yeah. Why is talking shit here for Leo? Yeah, somebody talking shit. Yeah, they're talking shit because they are spiritual haters. This is somebody that hates on your spirituality, your light, your magic, and your power. And this is why you need to continue to annoy this person. Because you're going to get evidence that this person is hooked on you, that they're fantasizing about you, that they're reflecting, trying to get the inside scoop. But how is you reflecting, trying to get the inside scoop, but can't pay your fucking bills? Like, this does not make sense. Somebody can't pay their bills. Their ego is getting in the middle of their relationships. And it's because they in love triangles. Holding grudges. 
Yeah. Somebody's in a love triangle holding grudges because they're being rejected. And it's because they are clout hungry, a clout chaser. They're saying anything, doing anything. That's why they're being rejected. Yeah, fishing for comments. Trying to say you ain't shit, but you is some shit. You too busy winning to be fighting with this girl that's jealous of you, that's wanting to compete with you, and it's because you hit the jackpot. Does somebody want to come towards you with this dirty offer? I'm saying that your light is irritating someone's demons. Okay? They out this bitch crying over you because you're the queen rising. All up in your face with these fake ass smiles want to give you an offer just so that they can cop block you. Yeah, I'm saying that you're moving on. You're telling somebody thank you next. Carry on with your day. Mm -mm. That's exactly where I hear you tell us about it. Like, carry on. Mm -mm. Yeah, somebody's a hater. Then you dodge the bullet. So remain unfazed. This is somebody that's an impersonator, carless, always partying, never got their shit together, not even paying their bills. It's like, yo. It's like, yo, for real? Yeah, for real. What we got for Leo? Yeah, something is backfiring on an Aries who wanted some type of control or domination over a situation. What we got for Leo? Yeah, we got the Ace of Swords. The truth is coming out. Eight of Wands about somebody projecting. Five of Cups, sadness, regret on someone. Six of Cups, so this could be an ex that's trying to project some type of sadness on you. Eight of Pentacles, and it's because you mastered yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And you're going a brand new direction. Yeah, with the moon card, something is all illusions. Okay. Why is the ace of swords here? Yeah. You're you're knowing the truth. You know the truth about these in-laws. You know the truth about your family now. Seven of swords on how they lied. Ace of cups just for you to give them some type of love offer or show them love. Ace of wands. So somebody that can't imagine for you to give them a love offer. With the seven of swords, this is somebody who's very deceptive, trickery, a cheater, stiller. They're very dangerous and take risky behaviors. Yes, that's the truth about this person. Why is the eight of wands here? Yeah, somebody did something in haste. Okay? They did something too fast. Hierophant. This could have been a Sagittarius, Taurus, five of pentacles. And now they're going to be left out in the cold. Five of eight of cups. They're going to have to walk away, seven of pentacles, because they're about to reap what they sow. Knight of pentacles, trying to slow you up and shit. Why is this five of cups here? Yeah, somebody is focused on loss and grief, despair, abandonment, guilt. Yeah, they regret. Ten of wands. Something was too hard for them to do. Ace of wands. Yeah, they took some type of action. Seven of wands to block someone. Tower, and it backfired. Why is the six of cups here? This could have been a Taurus or a Capricorn with the ace of pentacles. They could have paid somebody to call somebody a tower because they wanted to block them. Why well, is the Six of Cups here? This could definitely be somebody from your past, a brother, a sister, an ex. Yeah, somebody from your past, Ten of Swords, wanted to ruin you. They wanted to betray you. Somebody could have made us some type of complaint to, like, destroy you. Now they curse. Seven of Cups for creating this illusion. The world, I'm saying it's the end of this karmic cycle with this Virgo and their melanie ass family. <laughs> Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? I'm saying that you could be at a new job. You could be self-employed. But I'm definitely saying that you are established with a business. You could be making some type of trade. But I'm definitely saying that you got some type of good reputation here. And it's because of your hard work and commitment, dedication. Yeah, you a master. Two of Wands. And it's because of the path you choose. Knight of Pentacles to do something slow and steady. Three of Swords. Somebody heartbroken. Knight of Wands or Sagittarius. King of Swords because you're balanced emotionally. And they want you to be heartbroken. Mm hmm Why well, is the fool card here? Like I said, you could be innocent. You're free. You're, you're somebody who's very original. Yeah. And somebody else was careless. Acting childish. Yeah. Three of Pentacles. So somebody was innocent. But there could have been a group that was working with each other. Yeah, double. Obsessed. Envious. Jealous. Nine of Wands. Not wanting to give up. Page of Swords spying on a King of Cups, a Cancer, but they missed the opportunity when they sabotage themselves. I'm saying that this is karma because somebody was able to ba balance and prioritize something on their own. Now they're holding back. And this is judgment for a King of Wands and a Taurus and a Libra, Gemini. Yeah, this is karma. Yeah, because this king of wands wanted to receive something, but now they're getting karma. 
So I'm saying like a king of wands accepted something from a Taurus, and then they're going to jail with the justice to the eight of swords. So this person going to jail. You're defeated. By you have priests because you listen to your intuition. That somebody was trying to manipulate a situation, so you moved on. When you moved to common waters. Yeah, king of swords, you made a head of a heart decision. Five of wands pertaining to a group that was envious and jealous of a Scorpio and their partner. And it's because they was able to heal and bring money in. Well, this could be you. You could be this king of swords. You made a head of a heart decision when it came to a community. Because they was fighting amongst each other. But with the death card, you ended some type of cycle. Magician with a lover who was a magician. This could be a Virgo. With the magician lovers, this could be a Virgo. They was doing magic. So that you guys could be able to heal and move to common waters. Nine of Cups. This was this person's wish fulfillment. But with the sun, they're being exposed. Right along with this Pisces. Okay, and Aries, who could be their mother. Yeah. I'm saying, like, there. this could be the father of a Queen of Pentacles, or Taurusburg, or Capricorn, that wanted some type of attention, that wanted some type of clout. Now I'm talking this being late to rest for this family. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. Yeah. And it's because she was honest and truthful, mature and emotional. You was, like, emotionally mature. You have security. You're very kind, loyal, faithful. Yeah, three of wands. This is why in the distant horizon, you're going to have success. But somebody ain't see this coming. A king of pentacles? Yeah. You worked alone, though. You're mature, grounded, independent. Temperance, balance. Two of cups in a partnership. The moon, but somebody was in an illusion. Page of cups, now they want to apologize. Nine of swords, because they're going through sleep this night in the anxiety. Page of Wands, while you received good news, Page of Pentacles, because you made a practical decision, Queen of Wands. Yeah, you made a practical decision to stand in your power. Because you have to stand for something or fall for anything. Knight of Swords, and it's like, you got big changes, opportunities, and it's because you seized the moment. You stood in your power, and you ain't let somebody roll over you. Yeah, somebody was coming up with all these plans to cause you anxiety, to cause you stalemates. Like, this is weird. This could have been somebody from your past. This could have been your brother's sisters. Okay, this could have been somebody you even had a family with with that ten of cups. Higher than. Yeah, somebody wanted you to conform to them. Like, follow behind whatever they family went through. Whatever they family wanted. They wanted you to conform. <laughs> somebody had the game fucked up, Lee. <laughs> yeah. You got Archangel Michael here. He says, he's present. Pray to him for protection. Yeah? Yeah, because you got a copy and paste bitch here that's not authentic. They're watching you to be you. Yeah, you got a Virgo involved. So there's a Virgo involved. This could be the copy and paste bitch. Yeah, this Virgo that's involved could be a, in a part of a group or a family that's hating. They try to curse you or cause some type of illusion through hatred. Yeah, it says the enemy has lost or is losing or is about to. So let's see what's going on. So why is this Virgo is involved? Who is this Virgo? Why is Virgo is involved? Yeah. This Virgo took an impulsive ass action. This could be somebody you in a partnership with. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles could be a Virgo. They did some work to attack somebody. And it was an illusion about a Queen of Cups. And it's because this person was getting equal with give and take. And they wanted to slow them up. Now they're going to have to lay some shit to rest. Because they wanted somebody to conform to them. But somebody cut them off and set boundaries. Mm. Why is Archangel Michael is present? Pray to him for protection? Yes. Knight of Pentacles. He wants you to slow up, take your time. Okay. Be practical. Yeah, you are this badass being. Yeah, somebody tried to slow you up or slow up your finances. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody tried to slow up your equal give and take. They tried to slow up you from receiving what you put in. Yeah, moon in secret. A group of three. But it was too hard for them to do. And it's because you are a high priestess. That they heartbroken. So somebody is heartbroken that you are a reader. Mm. Move on. Why is group of family members hating? Tried to cause you. Yeah. This was all to do with money. You were innocent. This is why you need to set boundaries. Because these people are trying to come towards you. To do magic. 
Definitely this King of Pentacles. It'd be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And it's because you was able to balance out something, King of Wands. Mm. They're going to try to act like they want to come and apologize to you. This could be a couple, okay, who you can see as your in-laws. Yeah, they're the ones that came up with this plan. Then they're getting karma. Definitely this King of Wands, Knight of Wands could be a Sagittarius. This person is getting karma. Why is the enemy has lost, is losing, or is about to lose? Yeah. And they're heartbroken. This group that worked with each other. And it's because something was all an illusion. When they did this candy magic to get good news. I'm saying that you worked alone. You didn't give up. And this is why somebody is feeling guilty and ashamed. Because they thought by slowing you up that you weren't going to be this dead ass being. But you are receiving the hard work through your labor. This was an impulsive ass action that this toxic ass Capricorn Sagittarius tried to do. This could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn Sagittarius cut. Such a terrorist Capricorn cuff. Yeah, this person's going to have to walk away. Period. Because you are the Empress. And you healed. And you're getting karmic justice for the toxic ass devil that was in your life. 